So here's a simple part, and let's say we want to shape this metal. There's one pass into the and out of the dies. Now it may not seem like much, but we're actually starting to get a compound shape. So let's see how that puckering technique we described earlier actually works by just going in and stopping. Here you can see the pucker that the thumbnail die does, like we said earlier, it draws the metal in, and then on the way out, it'll hold the sides and push it down. There's two passes, and you can see the shape is already starting to happen. So let's get rid of our sample piece and go back to our little example here. We'll make one pass down the middle and just keep going along this side, then come back and do the same on the other side. Now on to the other side. So now let's see where we're at. Our shape is starting to move around. We're getting a lot of shape to it. And we get what's called these potato chip effects. What that really is, these are linear shrinking dies, meaning it'll shrink as much in this as it does out there. Now, as the part gets made, we obviously need more shrinking on the outside and less on the inside. So these dies actually shrink from the inside out. As we look at it in cross section, just one pass through our dies, you can see there's already a lot of shape, both left and right. So our compound shape is starting to happen. So let's start another pass now and go in not quite as deep. And this is where the guidelines really help out. Now with another pass, you can see those potato chips are a lot less because we're starting to shape now a little bit farther out of the center. Let's do a few more passes and really bring this thing around. So now let's see where our part is at. We've actually got quite a bit of shape when we take our straight edge again and look. Inside of just a few, a few minutes here, we've got quite a bit of shape, both front to back and left to right. At this point, it's just a matter of going over, repeating the process, getting the final shape you want that would match this piece in here. Now here, it also has a compound shape on the side, which we could do as well down these sides here. If you want a gradual shape, you only go in maybe instead of every inch like I was doing with the die spacing, maybe every two inches to bring the shape around. Let's take a closer look at this part. We can see the compound shape that we want, and we can see the thumbnail shrinking die did the action we were looking for. The thumbnail dies were designed to leave very little marks, and this is in a soft piece of aluminum. You can see there's very little marking. At this point here, we would test it up against the panel that we were trying to make or bring it to an English wheel to smooth it out if we're finished or even through the process. I tend to use both the thumbnail shrinking dies and the stretching dies to shape out or block out the part. And then I'll use an English wheel to smooth it back out to get us that smooth contour that we're all looking for.